Hey, what's up guys? It's Snashcrafter and welcome to my channel for another episode here in my 1.14 Let's Play Vanilla Minecraft single player world. Welcome guys. So today is going to be a continuation of a video that I previously uploaded, but this is going to be somewhat of like a part two. So a couple episodes ago, I uploaded a bad omen farm video where we just kind of built a bad omen farm. Now, as I just said, this is going to be a continuation because that video that I actually recorded on that day was over an hour and a half long. I had over an hour and a half of footage on that video and I thought it would make more sense to break it up into two videos where we built the bad omen farm and then in part two, which is this part, we're going to build the actual raid farm. So. I want you guys to keep that in mind going into this video that this is a continuation. It's the same exact footage, so it's going to kind of continue on from that point that I last left you guys in that video. Does that make sense? I hope so. So that is why they're a little bit out of order, but it's just to kind of keep my mind fresh and keep the editing fresh for me and things like that. I hope you guys understand. But anyway, this video is going to be super exciting. We are going to build a raid farm and I hope you guys are really excited because some pretty, pretty interesting things happen especially towards the end of this video once we actually get the farm up and running so little sneak peek i hope you guys enjoy it sit back relax and let's build a raid farm okay guys so i got my portals all linked up the next thing that we are going to do is scout out a spot that we want to put our air quotes village <laughs> now it's not going to be a real village and we're not going to go out and find a village we are going to create a village and I'm going to show you guys exactly how cool uh, this this farm is that we're going to make. So what we need to do is we need to find a big open space pretty much that we can uh, that's kind of far away from this thing, but not too far because we want to be able to go in between these two as quickly as possible. I need to take that portal down. Don't worry, uh, the portal links correctly. That one's just still floating around. It's still there. So it's time to make a mad dash and leave this place so that we can go make our village. Uh, a couple banner guys have, you know, spawned, which is pretty good, but I've just been over the nighttime going through these guys. Look, there's another banner guy down there. Maybe let's go, let's go get him really quick just because I, I kind of want to. And you guys can see I'm already up to 31 levels. So this isn't like the best XP farm or anything, but it can get you a little bit of extra XP. So I want to make a mad dash. I think what I'm just going to do is just jump off this thing and uh, go off that way. And here we go. We got to be so, so careful. We're just literally going to run out of here. And they're probably going to follow me for a long time, but that's okay. And we want to try to find like a flatlands area that we could sort of terraform. Because we're going to need to do a little bit of terraforming to make this thing work for us. Ooh, actually, this might be a really good spot. Kind of a flat area. All right, really quickly, let's pillar up and see how far we are. Let's see how far we are from our pillager outpost because we want to be relatively close, but we don't want to be so close. Okay, I think this will be a great spot. It's pretty close. Um, if I were to bump up my render distance, I'm sure we'd be able to see it, but it's far enough away to where I think we can make this thing pretty good. This is also a pretty flat area, and what we're going to want to do is terraform this a little bit to make this perfect. So uh, let me take my shield off because that's kind of distracting. I'm sorry, guys. Normally, I don't play with a shield, so sometimes I forget that I'm holding it. So what we're going to want to do is we want to clear out this whole area. We want to get rid of all the cacti. We want to kind of even uh, or flatten things out. And the reason why I picked a desert for this is actually because deserts are relatively flat unless they have these hills and it's really easy to clear out a desert because getting sand is super fast with a shovel. So we just want to cover all of the water spots. The raiders can actually get stuck in the water and that is something that you don't want. It can kind of slow them down. And we want to make this as efficient as possible. So we are just going to completely fill in all these spots. All right, guys. So it has been a full day since I last left you and I wanted to check in and show you guys the progress that I've made in between the last like 24 hours 12 hours i don't know how long it's been to be honest with you guys but let's flip around and let me show you what is happening because this i've done a lot of work so this is the killing mechanism as of right now now the only thing that we're missing is we are missing villagers obviously we have to make this a village 
for it to be effective. So I'm going to have to transport villagers over here, which is going to be the hard part. It's the part that I'm dreading the most. So we're going to have to figure that out. I got a portal hooked up here to the nether so we can go in between the farms really, really fast. I have a few little sections for storage. Now this also is a drop shoot, so we'll kind of look from above and actually is it nighttime? I think it's getting to be nighttime, so let's sleep. All right, so heading on up now that it's morning time, we can take a good look at this farm from the top. I think there's a mine shaft right here too, which is kind of cool. I don't know if we'll do something with that in the future, but it is a possibility, so I'll keep an eye on it. Now this isn't finished, and in fact, I would really love to put a big wall around this. I think that would be kind of cool. Almost make it look like an arena. So possibly later on, we can do an arena design. And what's really cool about this farm is that I can just walk out here and this farm isn't always active. You have to trigger the raids. So you can come and build. You can do whatever you want. Um, again, this is sort of an Exuma design, except for I changed it a little bit because when I was testing out this version, uh, mine wasn't working the same as his and what was kind of the main thing that was going wrong is that the middle shoot in the middle or <laughs> the middle shoot in the middle obviously duh uh the shoot in the middle was he used like a one wide block gap it well he was using glass all the way around instead of trap doors and for me it wasn't working because wasn't working because it was too small and the villagers would kind of cluster up in the center and they would try to fight for a spot and they just weren't really going down very smooth so what i did was i replaced those with trap doors villagers will just walk straight over the trap doors because they think it's a block that they can walk on same as other mobs and they'll just walk right into the hole so i was like just replace it with trap doors you don't have to use all that glass and then boom there you go the next thing is uh there's a fence post down there that holds up this fence post this fence post holds up this fence post in the middle which holds up the lava these fence posts hold this in this is what i got from exuma's video and the thing that was happening is whenever like the big beast or any mobs would get trapped in the lava for some reason in my game they would float upward into the sky like they would keep going up and up and up and up and up i wanted to add this little top section so that they it kind of kept them down in the lava they didn't swim up to the top of the lava yeah this thing is pretty much you know it's just a lot of trap doors one thing that i found is uh, I put trapdoors here because I don't think they like pathfinding on trapdoors. Another thing about this farm when I was testing it is that this is slow, like the raid farms aren't really fast and I kind of wanted to improvise a little bit and try to just make this the best that I could. I know there's probably a lot of designs out there that are great. Uh, I just thought I really liked the way this one looked. It seemed, you know, not very resource heavy. Now, I'm really interested to see if this works, but we got to get some villagers over here and that means I'm going to have to find a village because I kind of don't want to bring over my villagers and bringing over my villagers would be hard because they're super far away. So I'm going to scout out a village that's hopefully close to here and see if we could potentially bring those villagers over. So I've located the nearest village and I'm kind of here trying to recruit some guys but the thing is my portal is a little- oh my gosh white cat! Oh that was so cute! Oh I already have a white cat back at home and, and as I was scoping out this desert I was like this would be kind of a cool place to come back later and do like a desert district or like a desert village sort of thing. That could be pretty awesome but if we head over here I just want to see if my- um, trick is working to lure these guys over here and it does not look like, uh, any luck has happened. You know what I'm going to do? I think I'm actually going to try to move the portal because just being down there, I think is too, it's too far of a distance. I don't think they're even registering that these are here, but let me break this up. Let me move it. I just wanted to come back with you guys and show you that. I was currently at a desert village and it's only like 200 blocks away from our our place and my plan is that I'm going to uh, get two of these villagers and I think I'm just gonna breed them up it's probably gonna take a while this farm m is most likely not gonna be done by the end of today's episode we still have a lot of decorating to do and things like that too so lots to be done uh, but eventually it will be so awesome and I'm excited to see what it looks like once it's finished 
So I wanted to come back with you guys and talk about my bait tactic. <laughs> I want to see if this works because I think these tables could be really beneficial for trying to get villagers in places that you want them. Now before, you know, I, I begged and I prayed Mojang to add in like the ability to either lure villagers with emeralds or to lure hello <laughs> lure them in with leads like we could wrap a lead around their waist and kind of like hey say hey come here <laughs> but that has not been added to the game sadly so uh this could be a way to potentially potentially lure these guys into uh portals and things like that and get them to an area where you want them so that's my plan if they come over here i'm gonna push them through basically so let's see if any of them kind of take notice to these few stations here i think i've gotten rid of pretty much all of the stations so maybe they'll realize like hey i don't have a workstation i need to go find one. Oh, check this out i did not see this one. Oh, are you gonna go find a new job he just freaked out oh gosh i'm so sorry uh let's put the smoker over here maybe he'll find it and come over here because basically all i need are two guys i just need two guys to be able to breed and then we can make some babies i hope this works i guess i'll come back with you guys if i figure anything out okay we've got a farmer he's hanging out but um he's not really hanging out in the right area go over there I haven't traded with any of these guys, so they can change change their professions. Oh, I'm having a struggle time talking today. A struggle time. Like, what What even are words? Okay, these guys, you know, if you want to come this way, that would be really cool. I would enjoy that. These guys are jobless. Can you guys come, come here? No. Okay, they're talking to each other. Okay, so we got a stonemason over here. I think he knows that that's his workbench so i think during work time he should head over to the stone mace stone cutters thing and um we'll push him through the portal i guess into another dimension uh yeah so you want to change occupy oh he did wow they're starting to listen to me what are you your headband's cute whoa a butcher i would never had one of these guys before it's because of the smoker i put the smoker right here that's actually really cool. Hi, yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. It it might happen soon. Okay, you please focus. Please focus <laughs> and get. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. My plan kind of was working, sort of. Okay, okay. Get in, get get in the portal. Oh my god, it's actually gonna work. Oh, you guys, this is the best way. This is the best way to transport villagers into the nether. Just put their workstation right next to the nether portal and you got them. You got them. You got them. Are these guys coming? Get over there. Go, go, go into the portal. Look at this. Are you kidding me? This is the easiest way to get villagers into the nether now. He went through. Forget your endless minecart rails. Forget, you know the stuff forget it just put their workstations i uh, i just i can't wow <laughs> this is so awesome okay here hold on let's oh oh no 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 no, no. oh st stupid skeleton oh god oh they're gonna be so mad oh it's fine i saved them though technically all right so there's three guys over here what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop a minecart down and we're gonna use a minecart for this because this actually is probably going to be a little bit better do i have any more minecarts i can just put these guys in minecarts get in get get in the cart relax okay go you you stay okay <laughs> i think the trap door is yes oh first guy he uh, is on his way okay yep keep going oh this is so good this is the easiest i've ever had okay oh i did not think this was gonna go down this way do i have another minecart thing i don't uh let me go break that third one and see if we can grab him now i was originally gonna have two but i think we'll just keep the three because um it's kind of like a cushion just in case we lose one of them or something then that could be okay and no 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 you stay over there let me come around and you go there yes now you 
get pushed on to the track. Yes! Oh, so much easiness. So easy. So what we're gonna do is, um, the reason why I put these trap doors here is so that I can keep them safe and guarded off. Okay, keep going through, guy. That guy's- okay. All right, all right, all right. You're breaking- oh, you're- no. <laughs> Just as I was talking about this being so easy, he shoots back in the other direction. All right, so we're gonna keep him- boom, hopefully- nope. Go, 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 go. Okay, we need a plan B. This is not working. All right, we're gonna break this. We're gonna put a block there. Okay, he should be somewhat contained. Okay, so what we're gonna do is now try to break these, and I'm so bad at this. I always hit the villagers. <gasps> Are you a wizard? <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. Now go in there. No, no, no. See, this is why we put the trapdoors, because they like to be bolty. Yes. Oh, this is good. Now we can break this, and then we can kind of send him a little, push him a little bit more. And then we can break this. This was so flippin' easy. It's actually crazy. Go through there, please. Awesome! Okay, we got all three of them in under, like, five minutes. How crazy is that? I just transported villagers in under five minutes. That's so cool. Now, no, I knew that dude was gonna do that. Oh, I was just gonna say, before these guys get any funny ideas, we should probably block off the portal. Okay, anyway, we have two of them, which is good. So I'm gonna try to place down a barrel and see if they'll change their occupation. And he did. Cool. So they might want to just hang out over here if I put tables down. I don't know. Maybe, hopefully. Yeah, see, he's chilling. Okay, cool. So do I go back and get that guy? I think I'll get him eventually. But what we want to do is we kind of want to surround this with glass and keep them in there, like keep them inside an enclosure, which sounds really awful, but it's just to keep them protected from the scary mobs that are going to be coming down the chute. So let's replace this uh, sand here with some glass, and this is where they're going to stay. They're going to stay right underneath here. And then we'll kind of surround this with beds and that's going to make this act as a village now we need to be very careful because this could like pop off at any time um so let me try to just trap this guy and he is already like he's already in there okay that was pretty easy now you need to get in here as well so we can breed you guys up and have some babies in here basically what's going to happen is these guys not only is this going to be an emerald farm from the raids, but it's also going to be a farm uh, from the victories. So when you win a victory, the villagers throw like a victory party. And what's cool about it is they'll actually throw items at you. So we're going to have a system for that too. So we're basically going to be getting free items from the villagers as well. So that's why we're going to want these guys in here, not only to trigger the raid as a village, but also to make sure that we get some extra items. I think we might try to do a test run just to see if it works. So give me a second and I'll be right back with you guys with some more progress. All right guys, so I think it's time to test this out and see if it actually works. I'm a little bit nervous about this, but hopefully all goes well. So the first thing we're gonna need to do is go get the bad omen effect actually put onto us. So we're going to head through the portal, head over to our bad omen farm, get the bad omen, and then run back over here, and then hopefully trigger a raid. So let's see, uh, I blocked, I blocked everything off so the villagers wouldn't go crazy. Oh gosh, I almost hit that pigman. That would have been so bad. And I kind of just want to like go through this with you guys to see if it actually works. Again, this could be a total fail. I did test this out a lot in a creative test world, but I could have screwed something up. I could have messed things up. So we are looking for a banner guy and there is one right there. So if we can get his attention, I just need a banner guy. Any banner guys? Oh crap! Oh, this is so bad. Oh no, 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 no. Oh God, get me out of here. Oh crap, okay, we're gonna have to restart. That was, that was an epic fail. <laughs> and here we are. So now we have to get the attention 
of one of the guys holding the banners so hopefully oh there's a couple of them check that out we caught a banner guy all right let's go down and take a whack at this dude and hopefully get our bad omen effect so it seems to be pretty easy not too bad and i think we should know here once we actually get it Ooh, little, little little lag but that's okay okay come on there we go we got him so we got the bad omen while we're here we might as well get the rest of these guys all right so so far so good i think we're good to go so that's pretty much all we wanted so let's run over and let's actually head back through our portal through the nether and then hopefully when we come out the other portal we will trigger a raid and i'm gonna have another camera recording this from like a bird's eye perspective so you guys can see the top and what the raid looks like and we can kind of make sure that it it goes smoothly um but also uh i'll be down so i might like switch between clips we'll see how it goes um but yeah i'm super excited to see how this actually works oh ho -ho. You guys it's actually happening hold on <laughs> we actually triggered a raid so it might seem a little slow and it might seem like they're being stopped by the trap doors but eventually they will walk over the edge and there they are oh my gosh so yeah they will eventually walk over the edge and we can kind of swing at them and get them and it doesn't look like they died from the fall so that's great we can kill them with our sword which is awesome and uh, again it might be a little slow I might have to change up the trapdoor thing. Come on, Johnny, fall down. You know you want to. Get in the water! <laughs> Come on! These Louise. So normally they'll just walk over the edge eventually. I did test this a lot. Like, I tested this so much, you guys. And I couldn't get a design that wouldn't burn them alive. They kept getting burned in the fire. So this is like the only one that actually kind of worked. That they like didn't get burned. And this is also the only one that didn't have water streams that were like conflicting water streams. Man, they're really not heading towards the center of the village, are they? Come on, get in the water. Yes. Okay, finally. This might take longer than we thought. But hopefully that one guy pushes that other guy in. How's how's it go, go over the edge? Ah, they're stopping on those trap doors. Come on. Oh, there he goes. Oh, we got another one. And I know those last two will come. I know they will. It just might take a little bit of time. It's weird because they don't like standing on the trap door. Like, they don't like it. But they're not walking. They're, like, trying to walk towards the water. Oh, there we go. One fell. See, I told you. Eventually, they fall down. It might take a little while, but they do eventually fall down. And we got our first emerald, which is great. So now this guy, just come down. Come on. Okay, Pigman, you need to back up. There's a Pigman down here with me. He's so close to walking over the edge. And I couldn't figure out a way to get the water strands to go like all the way to the edge. Because if I could fix that, that would be so much better. That would make this design like perfect. If there wasn't those like there wasn't those trapdoors right there that were just chilling. Like if I could get the water to go all the way across, that would be amazing. But I couldn't figure out a way to do that. So yeah or i did obviously you could just like put a water stream but what it created was it created like little pockets where they could get stuck in the water it's weird water mechanics are kind of weird and they made this farm like super stressful to build yes there we go finally see i told you guys they will eventually calm down it's a little slow but it works all right so the next wave is coming through and they should all run into the center see how this goes here we go it looks like they're all coming awesome and they're all in the water <laughs> and we got our first guy coming down they should also help push each other off there's the second guy and then while i'm down here i can just kind of swat at them there's another guy hopefully this is a faster wave there's another guy awesome another there we go check that out so that was a really fast wave nice how many emeralds do we have so far three and i think if we get looting on our sword which i don't currently have uh we'll get even more emeralds so the fact that we already have three emeralds just from from this farm is kind of awesome it's not taking that long and you guys can see the next raid is coming in strong this is so cool now the witches are going to be interesting and also the beasts and hopefully the beast gets in. The beast will push all those guys in. 
Come on, beastie. There we go. And the beast should get caught in the fire once he touches his booty to it. Yeah, there we go. Ah, and see how the beast is kind of hovering up? He's kind of floating up. I needed those blocks there to stop him. And we even got the witch down. So the beast should die in a couple seconds and then we'll get his saddle. Hopefully if it doesn't burn. So our next wave should be coming in here in a couple seconds. There we go. There they are. Hopefully they just kind of come down again. The other guys should help push them over the edge. They'll start to fight for those spots and then some of them will push the others. And it does get them down to one hit kill down here, which is great. That's exactly what we wanted. I'm going to have so many banners from this. This is crazy. I would really love to test this with looting. And there the witch comes down. Awesome. Now the witches are interesting because they want to heal the other members of the raid. And if a, a raid member falls down, the witches will just go down. Like they, they want to heal. They want to protect the other raid members. Don't think you can throw things at me. I see you seeing me. Oh, the witch poisoned me. It saw me. So there is a little fluke in my design that I'm going to have to work out. But that's okay. Come here, witch. Ah, we're so close. Come on. It keeps poisoning me. So I might have to work out a way that she can't see me. We'll see. All right, let me eat some bread, heal up, and it looks like the next raid wave is coming in. Ooh, it looks like a big one is coming towards us. So that is good. All right, come on, come on. Oh, this is such a big one. But you can see they all pretty much come down so simple. Oh no, I did not think about the vexes. Oh no, this is so bad. I did not think about the vexes. Oh, you stupid head. This is so bad. What the heck? This is magic fool. No, no, I'm actually going to die. This is so bad. Get me out of here. Oh, wow. I like actually didn't think about those or consider those. So I think pretty much the whole raid party came down. I just have to figure out a way to, to get that one guy with the vexes. Ugh, I've never even fought vexes in my life. Come here. Come here. You, you, you go down. I think I got him. Hopefully. This raid party is huge. Why are the Vexes dying here? I can't kill the guy. Do I have to kill? No, no, no. <laughs> Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. No! What? What a turn of events. Okay, so it looks like you have to kill the Vexes. Like, they'll just stay. Okay, get away from me, you stupid Vex. We're so close to completing this raid, too. Like, oh, you dummy head. Get away from me! I literally hate them. This is so dumb. Jeez. Okay, those evokers are no joke. Okay, we got him. We got that wave. Look at that. We got the victory. So now we're the hero of the village and these guys should like throw things at me or something. Hold on. If I get rid of this. Oh, what actually just happened? I just lost two of my villagers. Okay, so we have one guy that's still left. I mean, that's good. I don't think they threw anything at me which kind of sucks but that's okay uh let's check this oh okay seven emeralds a totem of undying a saddle five banners two saddles actually two crossbows some bottles some sticks this was from a skeleton that fell down gunpowder wow okay so i mean that i think if i have looting that'll be a lot better but that was pretty crazy. So you guys, this is actually quite a sad victory. I am not feeling very victorious right now because two of my villagers died. Don't know why. Hey, what's up, guys? So it is Editing Nash here coming at you, and I just wanted to talk about something I noticed while I was editing. So the reason why my villagers actually died in this episode is because during the victory celebration for the raid, they were throwing off fireworks and at the time of the recording i didn't even notice that they were doing this but they were shooting off fireworks and that is what made my villagers die basically they were shooting them and they ended up like spewing everywhere and hitting each other so that's why my villagers died i'm gonna have to replace them with new villagers but um yeah i want i thought i'd come in and explain kind of what happened to my villagers because i didn't realize what had happened until just now during editing so 
yeah but i hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video and i'll catch you later also that vex what the heck i did not even think or consider the fact that vexes would be able to just fly around the base like what even is that that's crazy but i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope you guys enjoyed seeing me put together a raid farm I am very stoked to get this going and also one thing I think that we're going to do too is kind of spruce up this area and make it look really cool and potentially do like a wall around it and stuff like that. So I have so many plans for the future. Also, we're going to hop back to the base and we are going to finish our ter terraforming project and start on some more builds. I really want to rebuild my starter house, so that's something I will do. But thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you in the next episode, or I hope to catch you in the next episode. I will talk to you very soon, and I hope you all have a very beautiful, wonderful day. Bye, guys.